And parts of the Big Island are already seeing rain and strong winds. KITV4's Big Island Bureau Chief Jeremy Lee joins us live from KAO. And what's the situation there right now, Jeremy? Well, for most of the day, it started out sunny, and we haven't seen anything more than a light sprinkle. But for the first time on cue, it seems that it's starting to come down. And uh, we're expecting this rain to be sustained for quite some time. I've been going from supermarket mall to supermarket parking lot, and uh, it's been pretty filled. We are now in the Pune district, of course. We came down from Hilo, where we saw a lot of uh, activity, people preparing. And uh, I shot some video a little earlier, not too far from here, at the waste transfer station. That's, of course, where the county water spigots are. And people started to fill up their uh, containers and make sure that they had plenty of water ready. Of course, there'll be no shortage of water for those with their catchment systems uh, ready to take in what's headed our way. But nonetheless, it, it was uh, preparing, filling up water jugs, filling up uh, gasoline canisters as well for those who have generators. And I had a chance to speak to those who were preparing and saying, telling me better safe than sorry. Have a listen. But are there any other precautions you take as far as securing parts of your uh, your uh, living uh, quarters? Stuff? Yeah, I live under a big 24 by 24 uh, steel ramada. So, and I have shea cloth stretched between the posts. So I just checked this morning and made sure that all the bungee cords that are holding the shea cloth were in good condition. So if they get strained by the wind, they're not going to break. Yeah. Walmart, get some food, get some gas. Now we got to go fill up our water, so we're ready. Yeah, getting getting gas to mix for the chainsaw just in case any trees go down. What about generators? And yeah, generator also just in case power goes out. Hopefully it won't. Tie stuff down, anything that can fly away, bring it in, you know. We had a chance to catch up with the mayor as well, and you'll hear from him in the next part of the hour. But uh, certainly they want people, residents, families to be prepared. The county also making sure it's prepared with shelters. We'll have a little bit of more on that as well. And you know, there's really two types of personalities when it comes to a storm like this headed our way. There are those who say, well, we've been through this before, no problem. Then there are those who go the extra step. Some people, uh, you know, going to the supermarket and, and to the uh, uh, to fill their water canisters and, and making sure that they are well prepared for whatever comes our way. We'll have more in, later in this broadcast. Reporting live at the KL Shopping Center in the Pune District, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News. Jeremy, thank you. Hawaii County has opened eight shelters on the island. They are at Pahoa High, Hilo High, Keao Armory, the Robert Herx Gym in Pahala, Na'alehu Community Center, Honoka'a High, Hisaoka Gym in Kohala, and Waimea Elementary. All emergency shelters are pet friendly, but pet owners do need to bring carriers and supplies for their animals. And Kelvin's also impacting the Heleon bus service on the Big Island. The county's canceled several routes tonight, including the two, 60, 76, 80, and 90. It's also ending certain other routes at 7 o'clock tonight. The county will reevaluate all routes at 9 in the morning tomorrow to figure out whether it's safe to resume service. We've posted a link to track all of the Heleon bus service changes on our website, kitv.com slash links. Meanwhile, all county parks on the Big Island are also closed and will stay closed through tomorrow. The county says residents should avoid visiting parks while Calvin passes through. And all 14 state parks and campsites on the Big Island are also closed through tomorrow. All DLNR's Division of State Parks offices will also be closed tomorrow and crews will assess any damage that Calvin may cause before reopening to the public.